Hello everybody, this is Big Al, and today on Big Al Presents, I had to address this article. I don't know how many of you have heard, I know a few of you had, because there's been a little banter on Twitter about it, that Universal is reportedly planning to remake Jaws with Spielberg producing. The classic 1975 film that defines the summer blockbuster. It is the first true summer blockbuster uh, in many people's opinion. Uh, this article was written a couple days ago by David James. Never heard of him. Uh, and it's on We Got This Covered website. I, like I said, I don't know the veracity of this article i just know that the concept the possibility must be addressed um first uh my initial reaction was very much uh in the lines of when michael scott in the office found out toby had returned no 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 but uh I have had since time to calm down, to consider, to cogitate on the possibilities of this happening, and uh, I still say, no, don't remake this movie. This movie is um, is beloved. It is fine as it is. It needs no remaking, but. Let's at least let's at least see what this article has to say. Uh, it's um, headed up by a, a, a trailer for it, which will explain itself in a minute. Uh, Back to the Future Two Part Two predicted that by 2015 we would be up to Jaws 19, featuring holographic advertising technology. Sadly for fans of the franchise, the original Killer Shark and its counterparts in the sequels have lain dormant since 1987's Jaws the Revenge. Uh, that's the film that really killed the franchise. Uh, by now, according to our sources, Universal Pictures are in early development on a remake of the original. Presumably, this would be a broad adaptation of Peter Benchley's 1974 novel of the same name, taking us back to the summer report of the resort town of the Amity Island, and it's smorgasbord of shark bait tourists. Uh, okay, i got to give him credit for that line. That's pretty funny. Information on precisely what they're planning is thin on the ground at the moment, but the hope is for Steven Spielberg to produce the film. As he said in 2015, that he'd never direct a remake. Um, they get him behind it, this thing could gain traction fast. Uh, Universal don't have anyone to get behind the camera just yet. A wonderful use of the English language. I assume he meant doesn't have anyone to get behind the camera just yet. But they're reportedly eyeing its Andy Muschietti, which explains why they were running an it trailer at the uh, top of the uh, article. I would imagine the film will be set in the modern day, too, featuring a new cast of characters to set it aside from the original. Then it's not a remake. Jaws is three guys on a boat hunting a shark. And those three guys are Brody, Hooper, and Quinn. That's Jaws. Uh, so if they change the characters and... I mean, even if they set it on the same, in the same setting, Amity Island, but they have, you know, Sheriff um, Smith and uh, the old, the old uh, fisherman uh, Brady or something, you know, silly, then it's not Jaws. Jaws is Hooper, Brody, and Quinn. 
but there again, like I said, they don't have a lot of details. Given that this comes to us from the same sources who also told us that Bill Murray was returning from for Ghostbusters Afterlife, a Scream reboot is in the works, and a Swamp Thing movie is in development, all of which are now confirmed, we have no reason to doubt it. <sighs> it's not about doubting. It's about should they, should they should, oh God, you know, but, you know, just aside, always love this imagery that was on the original poster, Jaws, with Bruce coming, you know, from, from the bottom with his little jaggedy teeth all ready to tear into that pretty little swimmer. Uh, whoever takes up the reins of this film is stepping into some awfully big shoes, you think? Jaws is widely acknowledged as a cinema classic featuring several iconic performances and sequences. On top of that, since the pick released, audiences have been fed a steady diet of shark movies, with 2018's The Meg giving us an unbelievably huge shark versus J Jason Statham. Okay, word on The Meg, it got a lot of mixed reviews, even a lot of negative reviews. I enjoyed The Meg. So if you really want a, you know, man versus shark movie, go watch The Meg. It's it's a good film. We don't need a Jaws remake. We don't need a Jaws remake. Do you understand this? Hollywood, we do not need a Jaws remake. Create another big shark and have other people attacking it. It's not Jaws. Call it something else. Bite. Or fin. Or, you know, something. Um, my bet is that they will, oh, he's betting they will make this movie. If this remake follows the original's example, reaches beyond being just another monster film and taps into that primal fear of something horrible ready to drag you under the ocean, then it could be something very special. Problem is, they probably won't. Uh, they will, I... The fact that it's a big shark, they'll make the shark bigger than it needs to be. Uh, it'll all be about, um, you know, how many people get eaten. I don't, I don't, I, I, I really don't think a lot of them have, a lot of people have the touch to go into the psychological visceral fear of be attacked by a shark. There's been some good movies out there. Um, in fact, I did a uh, video about the shark, uh, about some shark movies that that are actually really good. Um, but like I said, Jaws is just so iconic; it doesn't need a remake. Look what happened with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, everybody was ready for a remake of that. And when it happened, you realize just how special and magical that original one. And the new one just, it just will not ever measure up to the original. It won't, no matter how better the special effects are and how big of the stars are. When you have magic in a, in a film, that is your film. And Jaws is, Jaws is magic, but you can never go back and capture that original magic. It just can't be done. Um, he does end, he's like, here's hoping that Universal play it classy. Oh, God, don't they proofread these things? Here's hoping that Universal will play it classy or may play it classy, or who knows what he was thinking. Well, play it classy, tense, and relatively restrained with this new take on Jaws. That's the smartest thing he said this whole article, despite the terrible um, misprint of it. Um, if they do this, and I'm only saying if, they shouldn't, in my Estimation, you shouldn't touch the thing. If they remake this film, it has to be the right director, the right vision. And if you're going to remake it, 
just remake it. Because if you don't have Brody, Hooper, and Quint, it's not Jaws. I've said that before, I know. It's not Jaws without those three iconic characters and the battle they had on the ship known as the Orca. So, I mean, I I hope they don't do this. I hope they come to their senses. If they want to do a, a shark movie, have someone write another another script. It already sounds like they want to do other different characters. Well, if you're going to do different characters, make it a different setting, and just do, for the most part, what is a Jaws clone, go ahead and do it that way. And if it looks halfway decent, you know, some many people will go see it. People like a giant, you know, a giant killer shark movie. It's, you know, people do. The Meg didn't do great, but it, it, it has its fans. And like I said, it was a pretty, pretty good little movie. But I didn't know, please. No, don't, don't sully this film. Uh, you know, do a 4k, I mean, they've probably already done, do a 4k restoration clean it up, pretty it up, put this thing back on the big screen for a special run, and let people enjoy the, the wonderful original Spielberg classic. Um, that's all I really have to say today. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening, weekend, or week, depending on when you hear this. Uh, and I, like I said, hope, hope you feel the same way that I do, is that a, a, such an iconic movie like Jaws should, I just, no, leave it alone. It's, it's fine the way it is. Uh, but, you know, I just don't, I don't see Hollywood being able to help themselves. Uh. But uh, until then, until next time, everybody, please take care. Goodbye.